Welcome back to Torah in 10. I'm Jody Burkell, and I'm so excited to be here with you again. What's the life-changing idea Rabbi Sachs of Blessed Memory teaches us this week? We are as important as how we make others feel. Immediately, my brain went to two places, the Wizard of Oz and Perke Avos. I won't tell you which one came first, but before we get there, let's begin with an important aspect of this week's Torah portion. We're in Bamidbar. This new book of the Torah is also known as Sefer HaPikudim, the Book of Numbers, because God commanded that a census of the Jews be taken. It's interesting because the Jewish people were also counted in the book of Exodus a number of times, and surely God knew our numbers without any physical census. So why are we being counted again? The Hebrew language is fascinating. The name of this Parsha is Naso, which means to lift, to carry, and to forgive. Here, it's being used as the term for census taking. The words suess rosh literally mean lift up the head. Why does Hashem use this word? Why not just count? And this is a beautiful idea. Think about it. When something is precious to us, we count it. Anyone ever have a stamp collection or a collection of baseball cards? The very fact that Hashem wanted us to be counted again testifies to the love that he has for us. And that awareness in of itself is uplifting, but even deeper. And this, says Rabbi Sachs, is a revolutionary Jewish idea. If we are each made in the image of God, then each one of us has infinite value. We are each unique, and no one can be substituted for another. Now, this was not a value in the ancient world, and this was not even a value in recent times, specifically during the Holocaust, when we were no longer valued as individuals, but as numbers. And that is what the Torah is rejecting in the strongest sense, so much so that we're not allowed to count each other. When counting people for a minion, let's say, I've heard people do it by saying the words of a line in the Torah that have 10 words and they count each word. And this is why we don't count Jews in this sense. That's why Hashem uses the word to lift up the heads, to raise their spirits, to make them feel counted as individuals, not as numbers in a mass or faces in a crowd, one of my favorite pieces of Torah. I know you've heard me say it before. It's from the great Hasidic master, Rabbi Simcha Banam. And he says, we should each walk around with two pieces of paper, one in each pocket. On one, we should write, the whole world is created for me. On the second piece of paper should be written the words, I am but dust and ash. This means I am infinitely important, and I have non-negotiable dignity and rights. But in of ourselves, we're nothing. Our greatness comes not from us, but from God. Rabbi Sachs says the point that the Torah is making is that what matters most is not how we see ourselves, but how we see, treat, and behave towards others. The world is full of me, me, me. We have the iPad, iPhone, iPod. What the world is lacking is the we, the people who make others feel important, who lift their heads. And this brings us back to the Wizard of Oz and Perke Avos. In Perke Avos chapter four, Mishnah one, Benzoma asks, who is honored? Our sages answer, one who honors others. Judaism teaches that honor is the realization that everyone is created in the image of God and therefore deserves to be treated with importance. In the movie, right before the wizard gives the tin man his heart, he says one of my favorite movie lines of all time, and once I learned this Mishnah in Perke Avos, I made the connection immediately. The wizard says, and remember my sentimental friend, 
that a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. And how do we become loved by others? By seeing the godliness in everyone, by respecting people, by honoring who they are. We should never let anyone feel like they're just a number, even when we have to count them. It's this that the Torah is teaching us when we do this, that we become honorable people. We need to make people we meet, people we work with and live with feel important, especially those who others might take for granted. This means the cashier at the grocery store, the garbage man, waiters, or the person who takes our coat at a party. Our words are extremely powerful. Kind words can make someone's day while unkind words can destroy someone's life, we can choose how to use our words to lift another life with love and with hope. Every day, we have opportunities to let people know that we care about them, to make them feel counted. Because when God counts us, we know how much we matter. And it's our job to make others feel the same. Bernard Meltzer says, there is no better exercise for your heart than reaching down and helping to lift someone up. In Rabbi Sachs's words, we are as important as we make others feel. And that is a life-changing idea we can all use. Thank you so much.